over the years, because of natural occurrences like frequent gush of wind or even a windstorm that could easily force your metal fence wall to go sideways, uh, whatever the reason, it just happens. Well, anyway, this was the metal fence pole that I recently fixed. Uh, if you look at it, it's pretty straight and it's level. And this is another fence pole that I need to fix. It's not leveled. If you look at it, the bubble is on the left side. It has to be in the middle. Just like that, along with the metal fence pole. And these are the materials that you'll need. Uh, a pair of uh, working gloves, any type of shovel, uh, quick dry cement, and a uh, hole digger. The first thing you need to do is to loosen up the fence pole by removing all the the bolts that is wrapped around it. Then start digging. And this is how it looks like after you dug all the soil around it. Sometimes you may need to go a little bit deeper until you reach the desired uh, level where you can move the, the fence pole like this. So you need to kind of tag it towards you until it moves and until you reach the desired level like you want that uh, metal post uh, to be straight until the, you hit the bubble in the middle. See that there? Um, in my case, I would need at least three um, quick dry cement. So the first thing you'll do is uh, you put one bag of uh, quick dry cement, then let it uh, let it settle there. Uh, make sure you space it out evenly like that and pour one gallon of water and now this type of uh, cement that I use recommends about one bag per one gallon of water and then the second one and then you let the water settle then doesn't you when you finish, then you put the second cement bag. Then you s spread it out evenly uh, using a shovel. Then you add another one gallon of water. Then let it soak for a little bit so it will even out the, the cement then you put a third one then you put another one gallon of water until it evens out when the cement dries up it usually takes about 24 hours you need to put back all the, the screws so you can secure the metal fence pole and the fence And this is how it looks like after all the cement had dried up 
And I think this is the best way to do it to secure the, the metal post instead of uh, taking the whole thing out, which, which it can be quite heavy and labor intensive. And I did about at least uh, 19 of this and it looks better now. Thanks for watching.